quick and huge. Big. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 All right, anyway. So welcome to Athlon Sexy. I'm a master level personal trainer, Alex Diaz, aka Mr. Big and Huge. And this video is going to be about spotting or chest press on a bar, chest press on dumbbell and squats, and how to properly uh, have a spotter spot you correctly. And different things that a lot of people don't, they don't know about that can help uh, prevent any injury from your partner. So I'm going to show you what normally everyone does. So you do regular slow control chest press. They normally you come up and they push the elbows forward, that's fine. But what you want to do, instead of just pushing up the shoulders, right before they're going to go up to the complete contraction, you're going to push up and they go up, slide up to their, up to their, to their wrist. So while they're coming out, you're going to slide down, come up, push up, and it slide to their wrist. You don't have to glide your arm, you don't have to glide it, you don't want to tickle them or anything. But you want to control their wrist, because what happens is, let's say you, you, give, you gave out, you give out. See, I control it. So go down again, give out, give it on purpose. So you no, 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 Go down, do it, go down, do it, press. Come up, give out, don't worry. If you're going to give out, I'm going to control your wrist. I'm spreading it going like this. Right. So go down again, do another, 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 another. Like you, 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 you can so if not, this happened to my client actually, doing 75 pound dumbbell and it just fell. Luckily I was able to grab the wrist and, and push it up and drop away. So if you don't grab the wrist on the pink, and let's say I didn't grab your wrist and I dropped one, you're gonna hurt your you're gonna actually well you could die. You could die because you're gonna your rib cage is actually gonna puncture your lung. I recommend that your spotter on the last do the last rep to help you're gonna grab the wrist and slide and grab it. Don't grab the, the I mean the elbow. Don't grab the wrist unless you see them hard to teeter tie going to the, their chest. Okay. For our bar, listen, I'm doing lightweight, let's do a press. So on a rack, let's say like a chest press rack, normally people they, they spot you like this. So if you're doing a heavy ass weight, can you curl more than you deadlift? No, you can't. So you don't want to curl the bar. You want to start in a deadlift position. So because so again, you can't you can't lift anymore. You can deadlift and then rack it to the rack. If it's if it's two or four, two or three, four plates, you can't curl a two hundred. I mean two, three hundred, three, four plates. You're gonna do a deadlift. So instead of doing this. You know, when your wrist, when you're pumped up, you're gonna start into a deadlift. Because you're stronger on your deadlift than you are with a curl, all right? So a lot of people, they do this this little bicep curl, and then your bicep aren't going to support three or four plates. The bar, say you okay, the bar. This would be, and you're lifting a heavy ass four plate, whatever. I, I, I don't want any spotter to do this. Like, I've seen it happen. I've seen someone who is pretty good shape, Showing an incorrect uh, spot. So what he did was do a two or three plate and he was grabbing him from right here. So why you do a spot? Do a spot. He's he's compressing his abdomen more. He can't even get a, a good breath in. And this is not gonna help you just slide. You just slide up and down. And if I grab too tight, you're gonna feel too much compression. That's gonna you're gonna you're gonna just drop away. So this is not this is not helping him come up. This is just making it a harder exercise for him to complete. So what you want to do is this is a very sensitive area. So you don't want to poke him. So this is where the lift nodes are. You don't want to poke him with your hand. You want your bicep to go fit right underneath where his his underarm is on both. All right, and you keep your palm up like this and towards you. So so super day grip towards you. And you want your squat, you're gonna bring it back, you're gonna go touch, you know, but come down, come, and then come up, you're gonna help him push up. On the first set, you don't have to really hold on, so you can do like this, I'm not to go, go down. You don't even have to hold on, but if you know you feel like he's, he's having a problem, you're gonna come in closer and you're gonna grip him like this. And it's gonna help him go down, go down, but so it's gonna help him come up. Alright. So think about it, like you, you're gonna set up for a front squat when you're doing a front squat, you're going to do a folded arm, but we're not going to fold his arms and cross his neck. You're going to keep the palm up the whole time. And it's going to help him lift up. We're not going to grab him here. Okay, we're not going to do that. All right, don't grab him underneath like this. We're not going to tickle him. All right, we're going to have our biceps right in between the, the, the armpit. And it's like a cushion, it's like a cushion for his armpit. We're not poking it. 
with our fingers, which is going to cause him to have uh, like, a, like a little nerve. And that's your pressure point. Okay, so you want to do like a little martial art move. You want to do a, a spot like this. All right. So I want to also mention that you don't want to, we're not having sex with our partner, so you don't want to rub your groin on their butt. So you're going to also do a squat with them. So don't just grab them and then glide your, you know, your private areas on their butt because that's going to make them feel really uncomfortable and then they're going to tend to like want to drop away because that's kind of gay, you know. So when you're doing a, you're going to do a squat with them, you're going to be, your feet are going to be wider, okay, and you're going to kind of almost like a sumo squat so you don't um, get too close in a squat and that way you're going to bring your head back while you're going with them. So their legs are in between your legs and you're not rubbing your area with their area. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and don't do like same thing when you're doing a, a spot or chest press, and you don't have to help them on the first, you know, couple of, set of reps unless they really need it. If you lift, if you need a spot on the first rep, that means it's too heavy. So don't, so drop the weight. That's too much. So just have a light, a light grip. Always stay with them all the time, so that way they don't get hurt. And do a, um, a one arm, one hand to be pronated, the other one to be supernated, and it's gonna help with a deadlift uh, position, not a bicep curl. And now he's gonna talk about his bicep. What you said about your bicep before when you're doing a chest, you were spotting your front. Yeah, so your bicep is sore as hell. Your bicep shouldn't be sore when you're doing, when you're spotting somebody, because it's not a, we're not using our biceps to spot, we're using our our legs, our back, our glutes, our hands, and everything, which is more stronger than little small bicep muscles. That's why I always say do a deadlift grip for a uh, chest spot. And for dumbbells, again, we're gonna do a slide up to the wrist. So that way, just in case they put, they fail on the last rep and they're gonna drop and kill themselves, you could save a life that way, okay? And that's it. Is there anything that you want to add to it? Or Okay, so he's freaking you, I'm freaking you. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And you have to subscribe. That's not sexy. Freaking you.